All right, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to back up your filters in Filter Forge. Uh, let's say you got, you just made this really cool, awesome filter, and you want to save it and back it up on a hard drive or wherever you want. Uh, the this method works both on Windows and in OS X. Uh, what you want to do is highlight the filter that you just created and right click on it till you get this little sub menu and you can say you can highlight the locate file and it'll take you right to the filter. Then you can right click on it and go copy and find your folder you want to save it in and paste and there you go so if you ever want to use it again all you have to do is just double click on this on the filter and it will load automatically into uh, filter forge and save it in your my filters holder. The other method which only works in Windows 7 this won't work in OS X because Apple's operating system actually saves it in a different spot. What you want to do is you want to go to computer go to your C drive, go to users, go to whatever your name is, your username, double click on that, and as you see, we don't have a folder that we want to go to, so what you want to do is you want to make your hidden folders and files visible. So you want to go to Organize, Folder and Search Options. You want to go View. And you want to scroll down to where it says Hidden Files and Folders. You want to make sure that Show Hidden Files, Folders and Drives is selected. And you want to hit Apply and click OK. And as you can see this folder actually looks a little different than the other folders as far as transparency. So once you get that done you want to open up the hidden app data folder. Then you want to go roaming then you can scroll down to whatever both the forge version you created your filter in and you can go my filters and there's your filter right there you can right click and copy and paste it into the folder where you want to save it as a backup You can also take this whole folder and save this onto and save that to wherever you want. This way you'll always have a backup of the filters that you downloaded as well. And that is stored in the same spot but instead of my filters, it's in system. And then library. And these are all the filters that are currently in my filter forge version library. And this is also the spot where if you order the filter library on DVD or CD, this is where you want to unzip your library to.
Uh, that's it, and happy photo forging.